Today's video will be for the 2020-2021 Toyota Supra. Just kidding. Uh, who talks like that, right? Those guys on YouTube, you know they do. All right, real talk though. Today's video is for the 2020 Supra, 2021, whatever other years they try to make, whatever years they try to make, this is for you. Because just like me, you blew a fuse. and You do not know where the F the F, the fuse box is, and I'm gonna show you in this car. So let's find the fuse box. All right, so right here we have my 2020 launch edition Toyota Supra, GR Supra, whatever that stands for. I know what it stands for, I'm just being funny. But uh, I got special little wheels, and I bought a little air pump just to make sure that you know, everywhere I travel, I have air in my tires. And uh, I blew a fuse. And I looked through the manual, and I looked online, and nowhere really tells you exactly where the fuse box is. So I'm gonna point them out, just so you know where they are. Real quick, nothing crazy. But uh, I had to figure it out. I'm a mechanic. I do mechanical things, so obviously I know. But you might not know. And um, I'm sorry, friend. If you don't know, now you know. I can't finish the song, but Biggie Smalls, just look it up. And if you don't know, now you know. All right, flipping it back around so we can get started on this video. So, to keep it formal, here is a 2020 Supra. What we're gonna do, unlock the door, the trunk. Unlock the trunk because you know, there's no button back here. So you either gotta use the keys or you gotta use that. You wanna add that to the things I don't like about the car, even though it's an awesome car. So pop the trunk. And to find the rear, the rear fuse box, we are gonna move your junk out the way because I'm pretty sure everybody has a bunch of junk in their trunk, like your mama. And uh, just move all your stuff out the way. And right over here, on the right side, this is America, this is the right side. There's a little twist tab, you twist it, you pull it downward because there's two tabs in. Oh, look at that. One fuse box. This is the rear fuse box. So let me uh, give you a better visual, I'm gonna zoom in. Fuses, oh my God, are those fuses, yes. That is one fuse box. So let me go ahead and close that back up. Wait, wait, the struggle, the struggle. All right, fuse box number one. All right, we're gonna close the trunk. And fuse box number two. Everybody's like, oh, it's on the dri driver's side underneath the dash, driver's side under the dash. No, passenger side, open the door. Move this junk out the way. It's my little inflatable air pump that blew my fuse. Slammed enough t-shirts. Keys to my 350Z. And a flashlight. So, passenger side. We have the dash. This is America again. I am number 170. Look me up, dog. So this is your glove box. And I'm gonna turn it upward because, hold on, let me disconnect this from this tripod. You gotta get down and underneath your dashboard, we are gonna see right here where the light is. There's a twist turn right there and another one right there. Just twist them. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that while holding the camera. It's not that complicated. It takes a little force. Twist it to the left. Twist it to the left. Yeah. And it's loose. And then, just kind of grab on it and wiggle it loose. Look, we got a corner. Pull the corner down. Pull it down. Move this out the way. I got a trophy at one of the shows. But uh, just pull this out the way. And voila. Fuse box number two. 
Let me zoom in so you can see that. Sorry, I touched the screen. Fuse box number two, zoom in. All right, so in here, I'm gonna show you which fuse controls the cigarette lighter. Because you know, that's when you plug up your charger and your iPad charger and you know, even though if you have the model that I have, let me hit this light. If you have the model with the magnetic phone tray that's supposed to charge your phone, sorry to tell you this, it sucks. It doesn't charge your phone fast whatsoever. So you'd be better off going to go get a charger. A USB-C charger, just so I can put you up on game. The, world, the fastest chargers is the USB-C ones, the round ones. And then just get the regular iPhone one on the other end. Hopefully everybody watching this has an iPhone. If not, you have an Android and I feel bad for you. Sorry. Um, but let me show you with these pliers, which fuse is for the cigarette lighter. So when you blow yours, like I blew mine, trying to use the little air inflator, you know which one to replace. So down here in the passenger side, like I told you, take off the little cover and fuse box for the front. Hopefully there's a lot, enough light for you to see. But underneath here, if you see the blue box right here, so you take it off front to back, boom, boom, boom. There's this giant blue box. The one right next to it, it's gonna be a yellow one, like this one. I changed it already, just for like cinematics, but it's gonna be a yellow fuse that's labeled 20, and you pull it out. You replace it with another yellow 20. This is a green 30, I, like I said, I put it in there just because. But uh, you just reach in there, Kind of hard to see but uh, you reach in there put the fuse back in and test and just like that you're back alive and just so those people were like oh my god how did you know it was blown you see the lights on Runner. Reach under here again, and I'm going to, first one after the blue, take it out, the cigarette lighter is off. So, the first one after the blue box, the first spot after the blue box, closest to the wall, is the one that controls your cigarette lighter. So let me put this back in, demonstration is uh, complete. And cigarette lighters back on. And that's how you get it done. So, recap one fuse box under here, one fuse box back here. So, if you have any questions, there you go, your two locations. And I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but obviously, you take the black plate, you stick it back up under there, and you turn both of the twists so you put it back in let me see if I can one hand this so you, you put it back in push it up in there and then you turn the little dials <sighs> popped in place you actually hear it right, let me see something and then a little knob and turn they're actually like not the most easy to turn whatsoever so i might actually use my pliers but i'm gonna do it while i have two hands so there you have it fuse box locations because everybody needs to know where the fuse boxes are for when you blow stuff because you will blow stuff use your manual it should be in your glove box the cars are new 
if you don't have your manual, look it up. Google 2020 Supra fuse box guide. Diagram. Diagram is the word you want. So look up the diagram, but front box, back box, and that's all you really need to know. Oh wait, also you need to know, subscribe to my channel, <laughs> follow me on Instagram, and stay tuned for more. Because I have the info, you have the car, you guys have a good day, and thanks for watching my channel.